I just dropped in. I was like, Lindsay, this is for the call tomorrow. Don't reply today, Sunday. Same thing for Donna. And they both replied. I'm like, it's Sunday. And they're like, it's Sunday for you too. And I'm like, I know, but like, this is my baby. And this is something that I want to build. And I want to have them have the tools and resources they need for them to be successful because that just benefits the business. So I see it a little bit differently. I can also leave in the middle of the day if I wanted to come and have lunch with you if you were in town and know that they're still moving things forward. So I really respect and appreciate that about them because I couldn't, I could not be the size that we are today if it was just me, right? It just couldn't. And I need to have team members that I can trust and that they can trust me. And again, like it was never an option that we would go rent office space. I could go get office space, but that is also probably over the course of a year enough for a salary for another person. So why wouldn't I do that? Yeah. It makes right. Sense. Yeah. And where we worked before the building in Halifax is very large and very empty. Right. So what I got to me, it just is like, where can I better put revenue to reinvest back into the business and you know, the girls have everything they need. And as far as I know, that they're showing up every day and loving it. So I think that you have to be able to identify as a leader what's important to you. And then how do you communicate that downward and make sure that the people that are coming in feel the same way? And like I said, if anything changed, we'd shift that. But I don't know. The world is set up for this. The world right. was set up for this before COVID. We just didn't maximize it. Right. And I think you come to it for, as a, for, with a different perspective because you did this for 10 years beforehand. You, so, right. you have a different perspective than a business that was just created and you had no work from home experience at all. That this could be the future because you've already lived it for 10 years. So yeah, this absolutely. Where you have a strategic advantage when you're actually doing your future focused planning. Five yes. different, is that office, that revenue, is that well investment? Is that a good investment? Or is developing your staff and investing in your staff and upskilling and hiring for the skills that you need right. a better investment. And personally, I agree with you. That's the better investment rather than. An yeah. Offer. For me, it's always going to be my people. And I don't say that from an ownership perspective. I just mean like my team is again, how I, and I'm at a point now where I have a business coach and he has been like, you have to look at some of the tasks that you don't need to be done by you. Like you have to look at what are your $20 tasks and your $50 tasks and your whatever. And we've gone through that some of it as an audit. And he, if you're better out doing X, Y, and Z, then you need to be doing that and leaving it with your team. And so for me, that was a very hard shift for me because mm -hmm. I didn't have a team before. Like I didn't go, okay, you go check references, you go do this. So that felt very, I felt guilty for a very long time. I should be doing this because it's my business and it's those. But as it's come to evolve and I've worked through those challenges with myself of what am I afraid of? Or, and it was not giving up control. In fact, it was more of, I feel bad because it's work that I can do and I know how to do. So why am I giving it to someone else? But it also then allows me to have conversations like this and talk about the brand and what's important. It also allows me to talk with clients, figure out, again, I don't typically just talk with someone and say, here's an accounting role we're hiring for. Here's the job description. What's your fee? And then I go off to it. 